Come on, chase me up, chase me down. Left. And it was meant to be so. Oh, there's fish here. That's good. Oh, that's a good mark down there, too. Yeah, I see that. This is very exciting. You doing that now? I think there's one chasing me here. That's me. Okay, one thing that is never not true about lake trout fishing is if you start doing something else. If they're trying to make coffee, fish show up. See? Somewhere right now? Fish. That was prophetic. Coffee receptacle. My mouth. I didn't bring a thing this shoot. Wait! An empty water bottle. Aha! Prepared to receive coffee. Thank you, sir. Too cold? Ice, ice, baby. The flight should be fine. I think it's just more this power heads. Power heads froze. This one right here. Fish. That's me, that's Grant, that's another fish. On bottom? On the bottom, yeah. Usually the bottom dwellers are large. Free flowing. Oh. Hmm. oh, he's sinking. Yes! Insanely slow, but sinking. You can never find small ones big. You may be out there a while if you're going to set that up in 80. Or are you just going to drop it in, walk I'm gonna back? I'm going to drop it in, open the wheel, walk back. <laughs> yes. Bye, Ben. Half out. How is it out there? My hands are froze. Oh, shouldn't have gone with wet hands. <laughs> yeah, that would have been... What? I've heard that sometimes you need to, like, actually, like, yeah, rotate it a few times just to get everything warmed up. That's good. Sometimes. Sometimes it's just annoying. At uh, 55 or whatever, you must obtain his face. I'm Winter's face. Do lake trout have fillable cheeks? Uh, probably. I've never tried. Yes! I'll do an intro in one of these hours. Explain to everyone why we're here. Still trying to figure that out myself. Oh, he's chasing! And then he wasn't. Oh, he's now he is. Army. And sink trouble into his face. Ooh, he just charged Grant. Grant Down. Yes, 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 yes! Yes! Fish on! Fish rear on. Grant is hooked up with a lake trout. Reel mine up out of the way. There was a leader. Slow down a little bit. Yes! Yeah. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! Nice work! Lake trout on the board! Three stonky. Yes! Grant! Very nice. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that beautiful eater. Want to show the camera, Grant? Look at that. North Minnesota grease ball. Nice catch. <laughs> okay. Just let me see his face really quick. <laughs> and there's his face. There's his face. There's Grant, the trout master. Well done, sir. Thank you, sir. We're going to whack him with something. And now he is dead. I'm marking fish right oh, now. Fish. And that's like a tiny one. <laughs> but he will eat excellent. There's a big school of high stuff. Cisco? Probably. Which means like chop and eat? Probably. Do you guys mind passing me that sucker? Yeah. This is not thought at all. You still rocking the ribbon wrap, Mr. Mm -hmm. Ben? Nice. I suppose you should probably set out a third tip up. Sir, your air mattress is making an amazing tripod right now. Yes. For my camera, which is good because my tripod broke the day before we left. I've been jigging for two hours now, an hour and a half. We caught the one Laker. We're now gonna set up tip ups, which I should have done this earlier. Massive, delicious smelt on a quick strike rig. Going down outside and kind of try to vary our depths a little bit. With the tip ups, there's a fish on bottom, so I can't talk right now. It's insane. I'll get back to you guys in a second. Look at all the steam coming off that shaft. 
Oh, <laughs> looks sweet. We are rolling. We are rolling. Setting up the tip up. Monstrous delicacy of a sucker. And I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, should have brought a scoop. True. I've been smart. The double hole with the hand auger. It's gonna be very interesting. Yeah, I definitely should have brought a scoop. I think that's gonna be incredibly hard because that be thing doesn't have a tip in the center of it. Right. So my confidence in this being possible is quickly fading. Okay, now I want to try. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to just life, to see if it's possible. All right. <clears throat> Compared to life with a 24 volt Strike Master, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. <laughs> Maybe you don't do it all the way through. Do them separate. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I like it. Genius, I tell you. We're trying to drill a double hole with a hand auger because my Strike Master 24 volt electric is dead, dying, ill, whatever. This is very interesting. Is That's working out amazing, I have to say. Look at this. I'm going to score too soon. Okay. Okay, okay. I like it. Close to greatness. Of course, I didn't bring a chisel. We are so close. I don't know how you guys can see that, but we have roughly 1.5 holes drilled. What it's designed for. Absolutely. I'd say drastic times call for drastic measures. I think it's thicker than we thought. Mm. We've given up on that dream. We're just gonna send it. One and a half holes it is. We're, we're going to regret this in probably two hours when this flag goes up. It's Mr. 42. And it's off to Ben. Thanks, Ben. All right. Three going down. Good luck to you, sir. I don't know. I got too much ice on it. got a ton of ice on it. No, this is what we spent all morning trying to keep off the bait. This is what they don't show on the... The videos. unglamorous part. Yep. Massaging the ice off of the sucker. The fish house looks pretty glamorous. That is amazing. Okay, that's just dropping. I wonder how many grants stacked up by now. This is Atfish Pro. If you haven't seen these or know how these work, then you probably don't watch ice fishing YouTube videos. So I'm not going to take the time to explain it. Basically, a tip up that you put your rod in lets you fight the fish on a rod and reel rather than hauling it in hand by hand. Make sure everything is tight though. And he can take that, pop that flag. Good to go. And free spool. Zip up is set. Thanks, bud. Mm -hmm. That barely took us any time at all. Yeah, we, that was a one and done deal. It was a swift operation. So, three tip up set at 10 30. It's so warm in here. How easily can I see that tip down? Oh, that's like right out my window. Perfect. A lot of mass to that thing. I'm gonna dissect that lake trout and use that strong. I'm joking. Okay, I'm thinking for this breakfast operation. Alright. I'm thinking if you scoot left, I scoot right, I'll put the stove right here. Our highest likelihood of getting a flag is in the middle of this process. I'm gonna go create a well, my ancestors did that all the time. I saw my reflection in that hole, and I thought it was a giant laker. You do look like a giant grease dog. Flag! If you say it, it helps.
Oh, fish coming to Grant. Real sir, real. He's chasing me. Yep, yep. He's chasing me, he's chasing me. That's a good mark. We've kinda got a full spectrum covered. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Joe Grupa. He chased me like 50 feet. That was crazy. Then is there a point where I should change baits? Should I go Cleo? Should I go tube with a teaser? Blade on it? Jitterbug? Now that might just be too deadly. I got breakfast on my mind. Ooh, fish on the bottom. Woo! Chase me. What are you doing? There you go. Oh, was that Grant? Are you serious? <laughs> Do me a favor and let me know every time you turn the real handle. Grant steals all my fish. It is officially warm in here. Can you hand me the gravy mix? Indeed. So some of you might be wondering, why do I have gravy mix in my camera box? Here, Ben. Yeah. I'll tell you why. On the drive up here, we realized, halfway through, we had forgotten something. And that was gravy, or some sort of sauce, to put on breakfast burritos. So we made a designated stop to pick up an 88 cent pack of gravy in two harbors. This is going to be some good gravy. I think that's a saying, good gravy. It is. Oh. This is one of those stoves that needs gas. Propane. Oh, that guy looks like he's stro- Oh! That would have been a tragic accident. Anything I do that looks stupid or doesn't make sense, feel free to call me out on it, because it's probably not intentional. I guess that kind of applies to just general life, not just this trip. That smells amazing already. I'm opening up the window. I have a love-hate relationship with these tiny crosslock snaps. That just looks perfect in every way. It does. Cheese. Thank you. And tortillas. I love how big those tortillas are. Oh, we can fit so much in here! Multitasking at its finest. You didn't get a super good hook set in that one. It was like mid burrito hand off. <laughs> your meal, sir. Thank you. I was scared I was going to have to try and set the hook while your plate was over my rod. I probably would have whacked your leg. Okay. Grant just lost that one fish that we've been working for the past 10, 15 minutes. What do you guys think? 5 to 10 minutes. So now is as good a time as ever to indulge in a fantastic brunch. Look at that healthy breakfast burrito. There is pretty much everything that you could possibly want and more on this thing. <laughs> This will last me all day. I can pray for us. Thank you for this incredible burrito. Um, the gravy is worth stopping for. Oh, oh that's a fish. That's a fish for sure. <clears throat> Do I have one? I have one. Or I snagged someone. You Might snagged have... me. Might have Grant. Grant appears to be having a grand old time out there. Meaning not. Hey Ben! Anything? What? Anything? No, just the one. Alright. Uh oh.
there's one. There's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. Just marked one. Ben's on, Ben's on. That thing literally covered 20 feet in like half a second. Holy cow. Ben is on. What has he got? He's got Laker. Oh, let's go, dude. Sweet. Oh, he's broken. Let's go, dude. Sick, man. That's... I didn't even know if it would be a fish. Dude, that's sweet. Cool. What a good hook placement. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, he wasn't going anywhere. I was jigging here. I pulled my jig up to here and I just saw this mangle. <laughs> nice. And I had just ripped my jig and it didn't go down. And like what? The slack was just in the line. Just like pushed so you up. Tightened it up. And... Yup. Back in the shack. <laughs> yeah. Howdy. How many? None. How many did you guys mark? Maybe one. Hmm. It was determined it to be cold outside. It is cold and windy. So I sat in here with a heater and sour patch kids. I don't think we even marked anything since you came inside. Oh, crab muffins. All right, quick update. It is now 5.30, and we have caught one more lake trout since Grant's this morning. Ben caught that one about hour, hour and a half ago, and it's dark out right now. We are probably going to pull in lines relatively soon. I'll show you what we kind of have going around. The shack right now. Not exactly our proudest moment. We have Grant and Ben just finishing up some beautiful hash browns oh, and sweet. venison backstrap steaks. Pretty sweet. We're eating fine out here on the ice. Reconvening with you guys in a little bit. Some absolutely delicious morsels, hash browns and some venison backstrap. Look at all this meat here. Or a little down there. more meat, please. Meets me. This is beautiful. Okay, that looks a bit better. Look at all that absolute goodness. We're a little lacking in silverware, so we're doing the lake trout special. You know, I like to use the silver and gold when I'm feasting. You know, they call them spoons for a reason, right? And then. That's what we got. It's divulge.